Hi, so this is Joey. I'm here with Simone at uh, Melody Grand Prix. I'm from Joey from ESC Plus. Um, your song, Anywhere, you're opening the show tomorrow night, yes? Yeah, yeah, I am. It's so exciting. <laughs> How does it feel um, coming out with an upbeat number to open the show? Do you, do you expect the crowd to really react very quickly? Um, I expect that when I enter the stage, I will get the people to react very quickly because the song's been out for about three weeks mm -hmm. and, and people have been listening to it. So I hope that they will recognize all the elements and that we can start the f party on like together. Exactly. I think yeah. the pressure's on you to get the party started. <laughs> so um, just a little bit about your background. You've, you've performed in a lot of different places before, have you? Yeah, because I got accepted to uh, St. N.A. Gymnasium and uh, the primary school when I was eight years old. So I've been uh, like having a lot of classical lessons, singing lessons. So like I was a part of the Danish uh, girls choir and we toured around the world in Singapore. And in, we actually had a tour in the United States mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. in the New York and Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. Went to see the White House. <laughs> very, very, very nice experience. Yeah. Great. Um, that's that's very impressive. How does that compare or get you ready for? Or Melody Grand Prix. Um, it, like, it certainly gives me a very strong benchmark because I've been like used to standing in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. But like, it's still c something completely different to, yeah, like you said, like starting off the show with an yeah. upbeat pop song uh, compared to with the classical singing where I like was a soloist. Um, but surely, like, it only like gives me an even better benchmark by having that. Uh, it's a great experience for it. Exactly. And I'm from New York, so I know what a big stage oh, that yeah. is. <laughs> and did you hear, hear me answer the question? I if did. Like anywhere out of New York. <laughs> yes, so um, we'll I'll have to tell you about our New York City Eurovision party later on. Right. Um, so just to, to wrap up here, um, in terms of the message of the song, mm -hmm. Anywhere, it means it can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. What do you hope fans take from the lyrics? Yeah, I hope that because Anywhere has several like dimensions and like layers to it because first of all it is a love song but it still has like encompasses different elements of being honest to yourself and coming out with what you stand for and what you mean is the right thing and not be like afraid of saying what what you mean is, is, is the right thing and like y your opinions about stuff like that. So I definitely hope that people can take that extra thing but still love is important but honesty and hope is yeah. some is some like feelings that you should take into consideration when evolving yourself as a person. That's a that's a very international message as well. If you are able to bring that message to Tel Aviv, I think it will be very well received. Do you have a message for our international viewers um, watching this on ESA Plus? If you want to um, just maybe. Yeah, like watching with, with regards to my song? Yeah, with, with regards to your song and, and enjoying it. Yeah, I, I surely hope that you can see yourself in it because it is like a Danish song because I am a Dane, but I still think that we can maybe like combine all the like the different nationalities through the song because it's the dimensions and the elements that anywhere encompasses is something that so many people can relate to and right. it's very relevant subjects yes. all around the world right now. Absolutely. So hopefully we can unite through anywhere. Yeah. Well, thanks so much and uh, I look forward to starting the party tomorrow night. You too. <laughs>